take a look at a median. And to do a median, you actually have to do a perpendicular bisector as well. So a medium of a triangle. So obviously we need to make a triangle. So let's make a triangle. So a triangle is a polygon with three sides. So click any three sides. Doesn't matter. All right. Uh, oh, so you see how it, it doesn't, you have to actually click on the third side. So it's three sides. We're going to put some angles in here. Okay, so we're going to put some angles. So you're going to go to this button right here. You're going to click on that. You see how it says angle? Click on angle. All right, then you're going to click three letters. And the one in the middle is going to be the angle you do. So if I click A, B, A, C, it's going to give me angle A. If I click A, C, B, it's going to give me that one. And if I click C, B, D, it's going to give me that one. Okay, so I've got my triangle with angles. All right, what I need to do is find, remember the median is the middle, right? So it's from the vertex to the middle. So I need to find out what the middle is here. So what I need to do is find a perpendicular bisector because the bisector is going to cut it in half for me. So just like we did before to do the perpendicular bisector, you go to point and you're going to put it the point anywhere halfway past the line. So this is way past the halfway, halfway side. So half is about here, anywhere past. Then you go put a point right there. Then you go to compass. So circle, compass. And you click B and D. So it makes a big circle. And then you move the circle to be the center there. Then you do it again, B and D. This time you put the circle on the other side. Okay, and then you're going to join these two. But before you join two, you have to put points. So go to point and join the two. They're the two points. Then obviously you need a line to connect them so that I can see where it crosses the, the base. So now this is my point. So we're going to add another point there. So this is the middle because this is a perpendicular bisector. So this has cut it in two. So this side is equal to this side. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I put my point here. I'm going to go and delete. Now I may get this wrong, so bear with me. I'm going to press delete and then I'm going to click on the objects I'm deleting. So click on that. Wait, it, it deleted the other thing. So let me put it back. I'm sorry. That wasn't what I was supposed to do. So circle, compass. Put that back. So back there. Connect uh, two points. And then connect those lines. So maybe it wasn't delete like that. Connect my two points. So then put my middle back. This is my middle. All right, I just need to delete everything else except this point so I can make my median. So let me see if I can figure out how to do this. Zoom, high, delete. Oh, it's gone. Oh, okay. I'm going to hit on the top left here, top right, I'm going to hit redo so I can put it back. I'm just trying to figure out how to delete it. Okay, I can't figure it out for right now, so I'm just going to do it over. The, sorry about all the lines. So G is the midpoint of B and C. So what I'm going to do is draw, remember, median goes from the vertex to the middle, the midpoint. So I need a line or a line segment, and it goes from the vertex to that. So that is the median. Okay, then what I want you to do is hit cursor again. So now it's cursing. And now if you move your triangle, it doesn't matter how big you make it. You see how it's always just going to the middle? If it's small. So the median is makes this and this equal, and it's from the vertex. Okay. Probably by the time you're watching this video, I'd have figured out how to delete these extra lines, because all I need for the median is this right here.